What I'm using is a ring light, the GoPro Hero 9, the Media Mod, the Rode Wireless Go, and also the display mod. What's going on everyone? It is Dennis here. And in today's video, I wanted to pose the question, can you use a GoPro Hero 9 Black as your studio camera? Well, let's find out. What's going on everyone? Like I said in the introduction, we're gonna see if we can use the GoPro Hero 9 Black as a studio camera. I guess you could just use the GoPro Hero 9 Black on its own, but I'm gonna make some tweaks to it and add some accessories to it to get it up to that studio level quality. What I'm currently recording on right now is the Sony ZV-1. I love this camera to death, but I just recently picked up the GoPro Hero 9 and it's a beast of a camera. I wanted to see if I could actually use it as a studio camera. If you are someone that is using the Hero 9 for uh, action stuff or vlogging stuff, this video might help you out to see if you can get it to look like a studio camera. Let's go over some of the accessories I'm gonna use to get this to a studio level recording. I pop open the side here, take the door off, throw the Hero 9 into the media mod. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna be able to hook up a microphone to the GoPro Hero 9. Snap this sucker shut. Now the media mod has its own built-in directional shotgun microphone. Uh, you can get good audio quality either from the front or the back, but I want to use a microphone like this, which is the Rode wireless go so i'm going to be able to utilize the 3.5 millimeter microphone jack and that's what we're going to utilize to throw on the microphone okay so i had to switch out the microphone so now i'm recording with the rode video micro on the zv1 we're going to take the gopro hero 9 in the media mod take the receiver of the rode wireless go throw that into the cold shoe take our rode wireless go plug Plug it into the receiver of the Rode Wireless Go. Plug this bad boy into the microphone jack. Cool. Take our wireless transmitter of the Rode Wireless Go or the microphone, it's got a built-in microphone there. Clip it on to my shirt. Cool. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do now is swap the cameras around. So we were recording on the Sony ZV-1. Now let's throw the GoPro Hero 9 in the media mod with the Rode Wireless Go in its place and let's see how these turn out. Whoa. All right, so we are now in the GoPro Hero 9 Black. How do we look? Now this is what we were shooting on. This is the Sony ZV-1 uh, with the Rode Video Micro and I switched out the microphone just so I could uh, set up the mic with this, but the audio you're hearing now on the GoPro Hero 9 Black is the Rode Wireless Go via the media mod. So if you are trying to get a nice studio setup with just the Hero 9, uh, I think if you pick up the media mod and some type of external microphone, whether it be the Rode Wireless Go as seen here and heard here, or the Rode Video Micro, uh, I think you can't go wrong with either one of these microphones. Now, how is the image quality looking in this entire setup? Now, we're using 4K 24 frames per second, and I think this is gonna give you the best image quality. It's a trade-off. You could shoot 5K, but 5K is gonna give you larger file sizes, and it's gonna take you a lot longer to render when you're trying to edit, so I don't even mess around with that. I think 4K is gonna give you what you need as far as image quality. We're using the narrow field of view. There are different options, so there's super view if you wanna do POV, there's wide, which is what I use for vlogging. There is a linear mode which gives you almost the same field of view as the wide but it's uh, not all warped so it kind of evens everything out makes the line straight but for this type of setting if you want to get the most authentic camera look of the GoPro Hero 9 Black, I feel like using the narrow field of view is gonna give you the best look. It's basically giving you a 27 millimeter field of view. So what I was shooting on on the ZV-1 was a 24 millimeter, so it's it's pretty close, but that's gonna give you the best comparison between the two. So I've deactivated Hypersmooth on this because we have the camera on somewhat of a tripod 
ring light style, and I'll show you what the setup looks like, but you don't need hyper smooth uh, in this situation because the camera is basically just stationary. And my ISO is 100 to 200. So since I am using a ring light, uh, I'm gonna allow the ring light to illuminate my framing. I don't really need to adjust the ISO to have something super, super high, because uh, then you'll introduce a lot of noise uh, and your, your image quality is gonna look very grainy. So 100 to 200 is probably the max I would shoot. Just make sure you have enough proper lighting to uh, light up your framing. Um, I do have a light in the background illuminating my tapestry in the back there just because I think it looks cool. And you can do that to create a sense of uh, depth in your shot here. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because in the ZV-1, this has a one inch sensor and it has a 1.8 aperture lens. So it's, it is gonna give you a little bit of that bokeh feel. Uh, you can't get that with the GoPro Hero 9, sadly. It has a fixed focal length. So basically it's focused to infinity. Up to a certain point, you're always gonna be in focus. I think if you get like super close, you'll see that it gets really blurred out. Uh, but once you get backed up a little bit, uh, everything's basically in focus. So that means the background is gonna be focused as well. So you can't get that nice creamy bokeh or background separation or background blur that you can get with something like a ZV-1 or higher end camera. But uh, since we're using the Hero 9, you kind of have to expect that. It's just a action camera. So we're really trying to push the limits here by trying to utilize it as a studio setup here. And I think it's actually looking pretty good. I'm just using the front facing screen. Okay, so this is what the GoPro Hero 9 looks like in my setup. Uh, we have the Hero 9 in the media mod, and then we have the Rode Wireless Go plugged into it. And then I have it on this little GoPro mount adapter thing. And then it's in my ring light setup here. Now there is something that I would like to add to the setup. I don't think it's mandatory, but I feel like it'll kind of improve on the overall feel of the Hero 9 being a studio camera. So inside here is the GoPro display mod. Now this is a attachment that you can utilize with the media mod and it basically just sits on top of the hot shoe or cold shoe, plugs into the media mod and gives you a nice forward facing display. Now, like I said, it's not really mandatory to have on the Hero 9 because the Hero 9 already has that front facing screen, but this is just a larger screen. So it's gonna give you a better view of what you're recording, which is probably gonna be you. If you're the type of person that likes to talk to camera and have a nice big display in front of you, um, um, this will give you the option of having some type of uh, larger screen, almost like a monitor, and it just plugs right into the media mod. So let's hook it up real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we have the GoPro Hero 9 itself in the media mod. I rearranged the microphone placement, so now the microphone is now on the side. So the media mod does have two cold shoes. It has one on top and then one on the side, which is really, really nice. So the display mod gives you a much larger screen to look at or frame up your shot. So if you wanna be talking to the camera, just like this, you have a much larger screen up top there instead of the smaller screen on the GoPro itself. So the front facing screen becomes a information screen. So it shows you how long you've been recording for. It shows how much space you have on your memory card, how much battery life you have, it shows you what mode you're recording in or shooting in and then also what preset you've used. Mine I decided to call cinematic. It shows you your resolution, frame rate, and a field of view. All right, so this is what you can expect your footage to look like if you use the GoPro Hero 9 Black as a studio camera. I think I have an overall pretty decent setup with the Hero 9, the Media Mod, the Rode Wireless Go, and also the Display Mod. I think it gives you that nice studio type feel. It just looks pretty professional for it being a Hero 9. I think thankfully, because of that Media Mod, you can actually add a bunch of different accessories and hook up a bunch of different stuff that really steps up the level of video quality and audio quality that you're getting out of the Hero 9. Now keep in mind that the Hero 9 is not gonna be as good as something like the ZV-1 or the more expensive cameras out there because those cameras are working with larger sensors and faster lenses when compared to the Hero 9. But uh, I think for this being an action camera, uh, the Hero 9 is a beast of a camera. I'm using it as a vlogging camera, an action camera, and also a studio camera. So pretty impressive for this little tiny camera. Real quick, let's switch back over to the ZV-1 just so we can get that last comparison between these two cameras. I'm really, really liking how the Hero 9 is looking. So Hero 9 Black, 
ZV-1, swapping now. <sighs> All right, so there you have it guys, a nice setup for the GoPro Hero 9 Black if you plan on using it as a studio camera. Now I keep swapping the microphones and I'm sorry about that because I just prefer to be using the Rode Wireless Go, but uh, you could use same setup, just use the Rode Video Micro. This is an amazing shotgun microphone. Um, and I've used this for quite some time. So yeah, if you choose to go with Rode Wireless Go or Rode Video Micro, you're gonna get some really awesome results. But uh, yeah, I definitely think that using the GoPro Hero 9 as a studio camera can definitely be done. I hope this video helped you out if you do plan on trying to use your GoPro Hero 9 as a studio camera. I thought my results came out pretty well. Like I said, I normally record on the Sony ZV-1, which is what we're recording on now, but uh, I, you could definitely use the GoPro Hero 9 Black as a studio camera. All right, so I hope you found this video to be helpful, and if it was, please leave it a like. Please leave any questions or comments you have down below, and as always, please think about subscribing. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.